Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm sharing a very exciting unboxing with you all. If you're new to my channel, I just got back from DC. We actually went to Tyson's, the Galleria, and the corner, what is it, the corner mall? The corner something mall? There's two malls in Tyson's. There's the Galleria, which is the bougie mall, and then there's also the corner mall, I believe is what it's called. I'll put the info down below, but we had so much fun. I went with my friend Lisa here on YouTube. I will leave her channel down below, Lisa Lisa D1. I'm gonna post my vlog after this video because I really wanna get this up so I can start using my bag. Let me preface this video by saying I am not somebody who purchases handbags very often. I'm not a collector of handbags. I was craving a very classic, timeless, usable bag that I can use every day. This is something that I will be using and I will get my money's worth. So I'm gonna share with you what I got from Celine today. I got several pieces. If I had to pick one brand to use for the rest of my life, it would be Celine. I love their all of their clothing, their shoes. They're just very French classic timeless and that is what my 30s are bringing, a very classic timeless look. Here we go. Here's my first ever Celine unboxing. I hope you enjoy. Really fun hauls are coming, so be sure you subscribe. I have my Zara haul, everything I bought at like Bloomingdale's, all that kind of stuff. So this is the big shebang haul, the bougie haul. I'm almost a little nervous. I don't want anyone to watch this video and feel like I'm just another one of those girls that's posting a handbag. Like I have worked really hard to get this handbag. I have saved. I've really saved for this bag. I'm not somebody who just blows money like this all the time. So if that's what you've come here for, I'm not the right channel. But if you are looking for someone who works hard, who um, takes care of their things, uses them until they have holes in them, basically, this is the channel for you. Don't get the wrong idea. We're not gonna be doing this very often. I'm gonna save the handbag for last. I wanna share with you a couple of things that I picked up that I've had my eye on. The trip was amazing. We had so much fun, but there were, there were a couple of letdown stores that we thought we were gonna be so excited about, but Bloomingdale's, you guys, it was, magical. It was the Christmas experience, the twinkling lights, the beautiful displays. Louis Vuitton was to the left when you walk in. I believe it's the corner mall, Tyson's Corner. And then to the right is Gucci. There's a Montclair. There's all, you walk into the beauty section, shoes. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. If you have never been, you must take a trip and go book the trip. Trust me. But the first thing that I picked up that I have had my eye on are a classic black and gold pair of sunglasses. It was between this pair and then the Prada pair. Um, I will put a picture of the Prada up here. I am just a Celine girl. I like Celine. I love Prada. I love both of their aesthetics and their vibes because they're very, they're a lot more classic than other brands. But these are the sunglasses that I chose. So it came with a really nice box. You get the really sweet little thing, which I am going to keep in my new case. Okay, so these are the sunglasses. My nails are on a break. You're gonna have to excuse me for not having polished nails. I really wanted it to be pretty aesthetic for you guys, but my nails need a break from polish. So that is where we are at with that. You'll have to look past the nail situation, but these are the sunglasses that I got. Now, I am dreading taking this tag off because I don't want the glue residue on there, but these are the Triumph glasses that I got and they are everything and more. They are classic, they are not oversized, they're not too small, they are the perfect everyday dress up, dress down, wear with anything glasses. And you can see the Triumph there, and it's on both sides. And they do have various styles and like a tortoise color. Um, they have other glasses. So these are the glasses that I picked up. Love these, they're investment for sure, and something that I will be handing down if I have children, for sure. So if you're looking for a little bit more affordable option of this, not same style, but same vibe, YSL has them, I know Sunglass Hut has theirs on sale. Celine obviously doesn't go on sale. Um, it is not included, included in any of the sales in the major department stores, but you can get a YSL pair that has the um, gold logo, you can get a pair of 
Prada that are similar. They do have similar styles that you can get this same aesthetic, but just nothing beats the classic Celine Triumph logo. So I love this purchase, something that I will be using and wearing for a lifetime. And then the next thing in the bag, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. So this is the perfume holder. So get it out of the bag like this. You have your choice of a beautiful ivory, gold, black, or silver. And this is the one that I chose. So you have the Triumph logo there. And then that is the bottom. And then it opens like this. And then you put your travel spray down there. I'm someone who gets a small version of the perfume or a tra travel version if it's something that I haven't worn on my skin. And it's very rare that I will purchase a full size perfume because I have so many. I feel like they're going to go to waste and get old and yucky before I can use them up. I love the little bag that it comes in. Just makes it very chic for traveling so you don't get any scratches. I do you have the Celine Hot Haute Perfumery on there. No, I took French in college. I can speak a little French, but not really that well. I have the had the most wonderful people helping me throughout the two days that I was shopping at Celine. The store director was actually from France. She moved here to America, I think nine years ago. She was decked out. She was so stylish. I trusted her opinion. She had a be beautiful French accent. She was incredible. You did get this beautiful holiday ribbon on the box. How gorgeous are the gold bags for holiday? They're usually like an off-white, white look. The two perfumes that I picked up to travel with are the Cologne, Francois, and the par Parade, or Parade. Um, if you were reading it in English, let's open these up and I will tell you a little bit about the fragrances. So this is your first fragrance. This is the Cologne Francois here. I know I sound silly trying to pronounce that, but I'm doing my best. And then the second one I got is Parade right here. So you can see the difference in the juice color. The Francois is a little bit lighter. The Parade is a little bit more deeper yellow. And these are 15 mils for each. I'm gonna to read to you a little bit about the notes. So let's start with the Parade, or if you're looking at it in English, it looks like Parade. So this is a musky powdery cologne, an attribute of the great dan dandies from the 19th century literature right up to the musicians on the pop and rock scene of the 60s. A return to the idea of transmission of a, and of a very French kind of perfumery, a parade under the sunlight of Neroli and the radiance of Bergamot, a carefree and sophisticated mix imparted by mu musk and oak moss, a feminine faucet revealed in an addictive and powdery residual trial. This is bergamot, neroli, vetiver, musk, and oak moss. This is incredible. When I tell you, I don't even need to spray it because I can smell it. My favorite scent in the world is sandalwood, oak moss or vetiver. Those are incredible. Anything that has it and then add that citrusy bergamot neroli. It is so good. I can't imagine anyone not liking this parade fragrance or parade. That is the one I will be wearing in the spring and summer. You guys, it is really good. I was pleasantly surprised when I tried all of the fragrances there at the boutique. Wow. They were magnificent. Each of them were so good, definitely something I would wear. Okay, let's see what the next fragrance notes are for you. So the Triumph Loel Cologne, deceptively understated, aristocratic, and singular. A composition playing on dissonant accords. The top note, redolent and with the addictive mellowness of Neroli. I must really love Neroli, right? And the sensuous bite of fig tree, then the elegance of a veil of powdery orris and the tender patina of tree moss. This is Neroli, fig tree, white orris butter, tree moss, and musk. This one, let me smell again. This one is a little bit... While the, the parade kind of hits up here, it's happy, it's uplifting. This one is a little bit more grounding, comforting. The tree moss and the musk are really grounding it, making it a good earthy fragrance, but it's still bright and pretty with the neroli and the fig. Incredible. This is something I will be wearing in the fall. So I'm going to pop this 
one into my travel holder here. We'll take this plastic off and then in we go with that. So there's your little case and you pop the top on like this and you have your travel case that you can put into your purse or into your luggage, whatever it may be that you're gonna be using, you can use it. So now let's get into the handbag. Oh my goodness, you guys, Ooh, I'm so excited. It's been a little banged up from travel, but this is the bag and oh my goodness. I already took the ribbon off because I did an unboxing that I'll share with you. So here's the gorgeous holiday ribbon that was wrapped around with the classic Celine Triumph there. That is their logo. Okay, that's just my receipt. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. So I'm gonna try to do this where you can see it all because I like to see in all the action. It did have a matte black kind of sticker to keep it closed, to keep the tissue secure, and then I've since opened and taken all the paper off for the sake of time, but this, is the handbag you can probably tell by it sticking out here i had her take it completely out of the box i had her remove like kind of pull back all of the it's going to come let me grab it hang on so it's going to come stuffed with tissue and it's going to be wrapped in this kind of foam protector and then the handles are wrapped in this Kind of paper tissue paper it will be nice and protected but i wanted to make sure there were no defects one of the bags did have a little scratch so i picked this one instead so just make sure you're spending a lot of money on this bag so make sure there's no dent scratches if you are in store um i think you do have what 30 or something days to exchange but you cannot take it out of the box you can't use it it cannot be used to be able to return it so this is the bag are you ready here we go oh my goodness Oh my gosh, this is her. She's beautiful. When it comes, um, I already secured the buckle strap. This is the Triumph bag. That is, this is the teen size. So if you need any more details, you can just look it up. My sales associate was Ekaterina, Ekaterina um, at the Tyson's Galleria. She was wonderful. I will put the contact information down below. In the store, they always have a display and two Triumph bags. So you will be able to get this bag. This bag comes in multiple different beautiful colors. And for spring, they are coming out with this beautiful crochet that is stunning. I saw on the website. But this is my everyday classic bag that I will be using until the straps fall off. You can send it in to be kind of polished, taken care of. This is the smooth, shiny leather. There is sort of like a, not pebbled, but textured leather that you can get, but this one is, she said, is just the most classic. This is classic Celine, and that is what I wanted. Previously from the old designers, she calls old Celine. That is gonna be your belt bag, which is very popular in the 2000s up to like 2015, they got a new designer now and he is doing an incredible job. So if you like the aesthetic of this bag, you will love their like couture collection, their runway pieces, they're stunning. Celine is just classic. You have everything from high top sneakers that are on my wish list to beautiful sunglasses, beanies, sweatshirts, like very wearable French classic style and that's what I love. So this bag is stunning. This is the Teen Triumph. So I don't like a big bag. He says the French wear the bag a little bit higher on the hip. The uh, Americans wear the bag a little bit lower on the hip, but you have plenty of hole punches here to be able to extend it wherever you want to, and you can use it as a shoulder bag and it'll hit right here for nighttime. So daytime, crossbody for me, and then nighttime, I will just shorten the strap and then it will be a good shoulder bag. To open it, you're gonna pinch the middle of the Triumph and then you're gonna lift it like so. You have a Celine logo here. And then on the inside, you have really a lot of space. So the reason I didn't get the more rounded bag, which I'll put a picture up here, is because my phone, I have the Max 
what is it, the XS Max or something. The Not the newest, but the one that came out before the newest one. That's the phone that I have. So it's pretty big. And this one fits in here perfectly with extra room. The smaller version that has the, a little bit more rounded bottom, that's the one I wanted, but my phone didn't fit in there as well as easily to get in. It fits, but you have to just do like a little push. This one I can just set down in there and it's easy to go and have still have extra room. So you have a front pocket, you have the large inside pocket, and then you also have the zippered pocket. The only thing I wish is that it had a back pocket, but I do plan on getting um, a like a lighter colored bag, maybe like a tan or an ivory cream in the spring. So maybe that bag I can get um, the back pocket. So this is her, this is the bag on all corners. She is little but mighty and I love her so much. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching my videos. Be sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like luxury unboxings. Follow me on Instagram for to see how I style this bag and every day, making it a very wearable bag. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.